Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen of the Winner's Circle. Welcome back to Assault Android Cactus. I am Play to Win. And in this episode, I am going to play as the star of the game herself, Cactus. So let's go right here to such as you see we have multiple characters I showed before. Cat Cactus, Holly, Lemon, Coral, and Starch. I showed Starch off in the last video. I want to show Cactus off now. She's honestly one of my favorites. So we'll just go through the beginning levels again of the game. And... The reason why I like Cactus so much is she has a very good weapon to use. It does eliminate enemies pretty fast, it seems. And also, um, I just like when it powers up. It seems like a really decent rate of fire weapon and pretty good for beginning, I think. Starch is also amazing, but you don't get Starch until you defeat the first boss, so Cactus is definitely a good person to roll with. And yeah, we're just going to go through some of the levels, and I just want to show off some of the, some more of the gameplay. And this game is a lot of, a lot of fun. Really great game, and I just want to continue to show as much love as possible, so whoever sees it in my channel will hopefully give it a shot someday, and the demo is actually out for this game, so if, you, if you're not sure if you want to buy the game, you can definitely try out the demo first and see how you like it for yourselves. But it's a lot of fun, it's really, really easy to control, but it's a diff very difficult game, so that's why I like it so much, because like I said in the previous video, games that are easy to get the hang of but also very difficult to be good in are always a lot of fun. Kind of reminds me of almost like a Splunky, like the controls for that game are really easy and basic to learn but the game itself is just really really hard. Like this game you can get through the levels pretty easily but if you want to go for high score and get the S rank and stuff like I don't even have an S rank in anything myself yet and I've been playing this game quite a bit. The best I've ever gotten up to was A rank, I believe. I gotta look at my battery. I also got a power up over here. Not sure what this power up is, but firepower, awesome. So I'm gonna do a lot of damage to these people. Take him out really quickly. So not sure how we did an overall score. Let's check it out. This guy's already slowing down. Oh, I did get an A rank. I beat my old score by a little bit. That's awesome. So we'll go to the next level. And I'll probably do the same as I did in the video before. Just go through and uh, beat the boss in the first area, basically. And uh, the thing I like about this game, I've been learning a little bit better. This flamethrower that you have, that heat underneath me, that little circle, that is my super weapon down there. And when, when it goes away, you can just pop it out and use it again. You don't have to wait for it to go all the way down. But the lower you let it go, the more juice it will have when you pull it back out. So it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. And she has a she has a good superpower. I really like it. And Asari, obviously it makes you move faster, but I also believe that it draws in like experience and stuff to you. So it's always a good thing to have. And got a battery as well. That's really good. So let's pull out our flamethrower and play with it a little bit more. Alright, get our next power up. Shutdown. Shutdown is a decent power, but it's not my favorite just for the fact that when you get used to the game, you move around basically constantly, and shutdown, I feel, throws me off a little bit, honestly, because I'm used to getting ready to fight these guys to be constantly moving and battling, and when they just completely stop moving because of that power-up, I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? I'm not moving anymore. It's really weird. When I shut down, I'll just pull out my flamethrower and just destroy everything as fast as possible. And as you see, it doesn't last very long. Like, these guys that were shut down are already moving again, but... It's an awesome game, I love it. My favorite power-ups by far are Asari and um, Firepower, which Firepower is probably my most favorite um, item in the game. We're doing pretty good so far. I'm just going to keep trying to set some high scores for you guys. And there's also quite a few people that play this game and also make videos of it or stream it. And I'm also considering doing... Um, kind of a weekly race on this game with a friend of mine so stay tuned for that if you like this game and you enjoy me watch me play it I will hopefully be a part of the uh, weekly race with my friend that'll be a lot of fun I think and we did it 248,000 score not bad so I didn't get close to my oh I got more than 248,000 okay almost reached my last score oh well let's go to the next level I went down once there, it kind of sucks, but this is one of my favorite levels on the beginning. I just love it when the power goes out and stuff and tries to throw you off. It's really cool. I like that element of the game a lot. 
I know I said it before in the last video, but I have to reiterate the fact that it's just really enjoyable to me. It's really cool. Alright, pull this out. Alright, sweet. See, I'm getting a little bit better at the game. My problem before was I relied too much on my regular firing um, weapon, and I don't use my secondary nearly enough. And your secondary definitely makes it quite a bit easier if you know how to use it effectively. Instead of wasting it on very small monsters, you can like, use it for those big ones that take forever to kill with a normal weapon. But here, might as well just use it again really quick. And now I'm even stronger thanks to my firepower. Wow. And I lost my combo because I couldn't figure out where new enemies were spawning, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I'll get better at it. Power max. Awesome, that's beautiful. Now use this because you're starting to hurt me a little bit and I do not, yeah, I do not, I don't want to lose my um, increased max power at the moment. I kind of like it a little too much. Try to take those guys out that are shooting a lot of stuff at me. And you don't have to use your secondary weapon, obviously, until it's completely drained. All you gotta do is right click to pull it out, then hit right click again to put it right back away. And we got a big guy over here, so let's go take him out really quick. Alright, hopefully I don't go down, because there are a lot of guys coming after me now. Holy cow. Getting kind of crazy. Alright. We're doing alright, though. I'm feeling pretty good about playing this game. I'm getting a little bit better at it. I'm not beating my old scores yet, but having a lot of fun trying to. This game is so addicting, it's ridiculous. Let's see how we did on this one. Not as great as I did have done before, but that's okay as well. At least I didn't go down again. And as you can see, these enemies, they start changing colors, like, when they're blue like that, they're not even hurt, but this guy, as you start seeing them, they start turning red, and the redder they get, the more close to death they are, and when, when parts of them are beat red, that's when they're basically one more shot's going to take them down, or a few more shots are going to take them down. So that's how you can kind of judge how close your enemies are to dying, and if things start getting really crazy, you can just aim at those ones that are showing a bit of redness, because you know they're very close to death. Oh, I didn't mean to get close to this guy. Please don't down me. Yep, he got, he got me. That was my bad for getting that close to him. This game is not, not a good thing to try to run away. Because if you try to run away anywhere, there's going to be an enemy somewhere to uh, kind of block you in. And ruin your plans, basically. We got our power up again. That's good. Oh, man. Uh, I keep letting myself get hit for no reason. I need to be more careful of that. Firepower, sweet. So now we got these spiky balls, which I really can't stand because they down you pretty quickly. I hate those spiky balls. But like I did before in the last video, and I will do it again in this video, I will post the link to, not the link, I will post the Twitter handles of the developers of this game and also their Steam store page because these guys really deserve a lot of love. They've put a lot of work into this game and the developers have been so awesome to everybody. So, they really deserve it. Indie developers are incredible. Oh, I went down, damn it. There we go. Pull out our flamethrower and let's try to wreak havoc on these guys. Oh. Let's go get this power up. Firepower, perfect. So, we got a lot of stuff over there. So, let's go get our battery and our next power up. I don't know where the other power up went. Maybe I already, it's the one I already picked up. Who knows? I just wore it said power up after, um, there we go, I got it. Yup, here it is. And we did it, guys. Let's see what score I got in this one. Probably not very high. Not the greatest, but that's okay. And now we're going to Embryo. So I think, yeah, we're already at the boss fight with Cactus. I hope you guys have had fun watching so far, but this boss fight may take a couple attempts to complete, but we shall see. Rats. Stinky, filthy rats growing around my hold. And here's another one, a nasty little stowaway. I'll toss you out the airlock like all the other vermin. Don't call me a stowaway, I'm an officer of the law and you're under arrest. Throw your arms on the ground and come quietly. 
Big words for a little Android running on a battery. We'll see how long it lasts before you get tired of playing cop. And I forgot to move there, I apologize. That's what happens though if you don't move to get close to this boss. He jumps right on you and takes you down basically in seconds. So, gotta be very careful with how you fight this guy. And I got a power up, which is awesome. Let's try to hold on to it. And there he goes, down the first time. It's awesome. I got a sorry, which is also another good thing to have. I love a sorry. It's a speed up, and like I said, it kind of acts like a magnet to get the experience pulled into you. I'm going to try to get in close to use my flamethrower on. Oh, I went down. That's what I get for trying to be greedy. He's down again. Let's go grab our battery. Pull out the flamethrower. Do some damage to him if we can. Perfect. And let's see if we can get another power-up anytime soon. Nope, we got a power-up, though. And it's an Asari, which is good. The only thing that's hard about fighting this boss sometimes is as you move, your bolts kind of curve. So it's kind of hard to try to figure out like where exactly to put your mouse to make sure you're doing as much damage to him as possible. But I'm getting very close to going down. I might actually go down very shortly. Yep, there we go. I knew that was coming. We'll pull out our flamethrower and finish him off. Alright, he's got two more little forms to go. Alright, it's getting a little intense here. As you can see, with stars, you can take a far approach. With um, cactus, you can take a far approach or you can try to get a little bit closer so you can use your flamethrower. It's really up to you on how you want to go about fighting this guy. And he's almost done. We might actually be able to do this. That makes me very happy if we could. I went down, but I think I'll have enough power and juice in order to take this guy down. Get close again, him with a flamethrower, and we did it! We did it, Winter Circle! You have the right to remain silent, and um, I don't remember how the rest of it goes. Normally my opponents don't explode. You judge me, but I did everything I needed to do, fulfilled my every duty, only to fall like this. The way I see it, you fall, you'd fall you before I got here, pal. Robots are meant to follow orders. Good job, Cactus. And we did it, guys. There we go. Perfect. And I don't have very great scores on this fight, but I actually got a better score than my last one. So we'll go to our main menu. Like I said, I've cleared out the first half again, or first floor area. And that is the Salt Android Cactus, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. You can let me know in the next video who you like to see me play as. This game is a lot of fun. Like I said, definitely go check out their store page on Steam. They have a demo for it, like I said, and it downloads really fast, so you can go check the game out. There's no reason not to, really. And if you guys enjoy, just leave a like and favorite on my video. It helps a lot. Subscribe to become part of my winner's circle, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, everybody, have a great day.